Hi, we're here for another unboxing video. Uh, it's going to be a two-parter, and the first part is the ever unpredictable, unprocessed order, which Amber's which really excited about, and I'm excited about. It. That's the one that always has the cookbooks. And then the second part is going to be DVDs, lots and lots of movies. Sure. And I'm Eliza. Amber. Let's go. Okay, first one. Give people money. How a Universal Basic Income Would End Poverty, Revolutionize Work, and Remake the World by Annie Lowry. I've read articles about that, and it sounds like a really good idea, but... Give, give people money. I would like money. Yeah, and then we could work less. <laughs> we'd all be healthier, and then we'd spend... Uh, there'd be, like, less medical problems. Uh, power... Ooh. Plates. This looks like, um, like the Super Bowl... Not Super Bowl, but... Like right, the there was this healthy bowl. There was a trend. bowl trend, mm. and now it looks like we're going back, back to plates. plates. It's like Although this a is, meal. This is a very bowl like plate, isn't it? I don't know. It looks good. I'm sure everything 100 nutritionally balanced one dish vegan meals. Oh, ho. A celebration of languages and curiosities. It's called Hello World. This just looks like it's not a shiny cover, it has a lot yeah. of texture to it, so it's really fun. Oh, this looks Ooh. this looks cool. Oh, oh, it might not be for young kids because there are like a million of these little tabby things that they love to just rip off. Um, but it tells you how to say oi and bonjour. I think they tell you how to pronounce it. Yeah, they tell you how to pronounce how to oi. say hello. Oi, oi, oi. South that looks Africa, like it's good for North kids America. who are like just old enough to start understanding that there's other countries and wondering about them. Yeah, I mean you can't really see it. There's a lot of detail, but I agree. Like maybe yeah. an older kid. The Plant Paradox Cookbook. What is the Plant Paradox? I guess that's the question. And it will a hundred. And this one, the last one had a hundred recipes too. That must be the magic number to help you lose weight, heal your gut and live lectin free. I'm guessing it's another vegan cookbook? I don't know what lectins are. Well, I don't think it can be a vegan cookbook because there's meat on the cover. Are you sure it's meat? It, it says looks like paradox. Meat. I know, but it looks like there's... Well, what's the paradox what's that you can't that, have? Um, I can't think what that stuff is called. Prosciutto? Yeah. Prosciutto? prosciutto. I, I don't know. Well, you'll have to read it to find out more. Um, Dinner Illustrated. Oh, this one has 175 meals ready in one hour. I mean, one hour. Come on. Oh, but America's <laughs> Test Kitchen, they put out a they lot are, of... They're so good. Yeah, they put yeah. out a lot of good recipes, and they usually have um, good notes, mm -hmm. lots of basic illustrations. This looks like a really good cookbook, like one that you would want to buy after using this. Let's we'll see. Sometimes I use those for ideas, and then I don't always, like, follow the recipe. Never follow the recipe. <laughs> I never follow the recipe. Ten little love bugs. Oh, this one looks really cute. It does look really cute. Like, each page has holes, and then there's... Kids love books yeah. with, like, holes yeah. in them. <laughs> Even if they don't do anything. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Breakout by Kate Messner. Home might never feel the same. I read a book by Kate Nestor once. This is a ju this is a juvenile. So this is actually late processed, but it's a juvenile book. Um, I don't know how it got in there. Yeah. About oh, there are two inmates that break out of the town's maximum security prison, and everything changes. Did she write the Green Glass House? I think that's the book I read. Mm -hmm. Oh no, the Seventh Wish. I remember that. That was cute. Bird and squirrel on the run. Right. We have more of these. This is like a a kid recommended series. The children came to us and they said, "We want you to buy bird and squirrel books." And we said, is "Okay." Is it a graphic novel? Yep, it's a graphic novel. Nice. I think we have a few more graphic novels. Yeah. Be prepared. This oh by Vera Brasso. That's such a great cover. Oh my goodness. But she also wrote Anya's Ghost, which was popular. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, oh look, she's like so. In the back, she's like so beat down. This looks really good. I really want to read this. Oh no. Ghostopolis. This is another kid recommended one. I really want. I feel like I really wow. want to read that. I've, Look I, at the back 
cover. I heard about it a long time ago. It's like it's been out for a little while. Yeah. Um, but it really looks huh. It looks kind of dark. Yeah, it looks a little too intense for my kids. It's not too intense for me. Amber can handle it. Oh, cardboard by Doug Tenaple. Tenaple. Oh, also available. Ghostopolis, which we just got, and then Bad Island, which I think I've actually read. <laughs> it looks kind of odd, maybe also a little bit dark. Um, yeah, it looks a little weirder. Cardboard comes to life is the idea. So. It's going to be like Whiplash, but it's a board book. <laughs> night, Night, Dinah Snores. Oh. And it's like at one of those textured books where you can touch things, oh. I think. Yeah, like, look, it's shiny. Oh, that's super cute art, too. That will go home Touch with and me. feel storybook. Yeah, I think that will be perfect for Dinosaur, your guy. So this is totally different. Crafting a patterned home. Painting, printing, and stitching projects to enliven every room. That looks like a lively little area. This is kind of interesting. You can make that tablecloth. It's nice to get new craft books. We haven't gotten new craft books in a little while. Yeah. This is why we love the unprocessed order. It's so unpredictable. So here's a new Fly Guy book, Fly Guy and the Aliens. Um, my kids really, really love Fly Guy, and they, the books kind of drive me crazy. But isn't that what parenting is all about? To sacrifice by <laughs> reading books to your kids. And actually, my son's old enough that he can read them now himself. So. And the point is just getting them to read, right? Yeah, yeah that's the, that is the librarian philosophy. So there's another bird and squirrel. Bird and squirrel. Ta-da! Little Piggy and Other Favorite Nursery Rhymes. This is another one with little holes in it. Cute! <laughs> Cute, cute, cute. Uh, let's see. We've got a couple more. Um, composting for a new generation. This sounds <laughs> nice. I hope it has something about lazy composting. Latest <laughs> techniques for the bin and beyond. I'm sure new generation is a euphemism for lazy. <laughs> oh, salad dish. Kind of like salad. You just throw some things together that aren't cooked, I guess? I mean, this is a really gorgeous cover. I don't know if it's something I'd actually make. Let's see. Oh, look, they have one of those watermelon salads on the back. I always like those. Salads end up being so much more work than you think they're going to be because each ingredient you really have to prep, even though it doesn't look like you should. You but do. then you feel so healthy and virtuous after you eat them. Or do you just still feel kind of hungry? Oh, wow, look, they have instructions on how to neatly slice an apple. So that's wow. it. We will reflect on that. Big box. We'll be back with DVDs.